everyone, it is Kedma, your fellow small business superhero. 10 tips, 10 days. Tip number three, let's talk barrier to entry. This is something that we face as superheroes. Barrier to entry is a definition we use in business where a company is trying to enter into a market and it's a significant barrier that they're facing that they may not be able to overcome. It could be uh, regulation driven, it could be political climate, it could be supply chain issues, it could be that it's cost prohibitive, uh, or it could be that competitors in the space already have so much market share that it's almost impossible to break into the market. And once they're in the market, maybe it's hard for them to stay in. So how do you, as a small business, you don't have unlimited funds for marketing, for uh, PR, you don't have a lobbyist hanging out in your office that can help with political influence. What do you do? What can you do? So I'm going to talk about four tips and all of these tips are related to increasing your relationship influence. So tip number one, I want you to focus on building brand ambassadors. Those are your customers that are so happy that they're coming back over and over again, but now they have become customer ambassadors. They're out there, they're communicating the message, they're excited about your brand, and they're sharing it with everyone they know. They are your loyal champions. They are your ambassadors. And that's a way to, to make sure that you stay grounded in your market share. Number two, I want you to pay attention to your first customers. Now most people think the first customers are outward facing your company absolutely false. Your first customers are inward facing. They are your employees. They are the ones that you have to be paying attention to and treating them like customers. Happy employees, happy customers because they are the line that leads to creating a stronger market share and getting the message out that your company matters. Number three, this is another important one, community partners. So I spend a lot of time building community partners because as a small business, you may not have the, the longevity or the influence to move things, but if you align your small business to community partners that have the visibility, that have the, the, the resources, that have the political influence, you are now putting your business in a position of strength through the relationship influence you have. And the last one is advisory councils. Getting on the right advisory or right board council is crucial to building your relationship karma, your relationship influence. I do that all the time. I have been appointed by the governor for the Small Business Advisory Council. I was appointed for the uh, Oregon Disability Commission Council. So when I'm excited about a certain industry, I get involved but I get involved at an influential level so I can help move the direction of the industry and that also helps my business. So those are the four tips. I hope that you um, benefited from it and as always, I love to hear your thoughts. Bye everyone.